go. Today's episode of Talk Xbox to Me is sponsored by Scarlet Nexus. In a far distant future, a psionic hormone was discovered in the human brain, granting people extrasensory powers and changing the world as we know it. Just as humanity was entering this new era, deranged mutants known as Others began to descend from the sky with a thirst for human brains. Highly resistant to conventional attack methods, extreme measures needed to be taken to battle the overwhelming threat and preserve humanity. Those with acute extrasensory abilities, known as psionics, were our fighting chance to... Mm. I'm gonna punch myself in the face. Oh, you're good. Just keep going. <laughs> I'm going to restart with that one. Those with acute extrasensory abilities, known as psionics, were our chance to fight the onslaught from above. To this day, psionics have been scouted for their talents and recruited to the OSF, humanity's last line of defense. Take on the role of Yuito Sumeragi, a new recruit to the OSF, aiming to become an elite psionic like the ones who saved him as a child. Armed with a talent in psychokinesis, explore the futuristic city of New Humica and discover the mysteries of a brain punk future caught between technology and psychic abilities in Scarlet Nexus. Check out raw gameplay and first impressions of Scarlet Nexus on Tenek Want You Sit Gaming today. Thank you, sir. And Asylum, would you like to hear a little secret? Sure. Just, it's just fucking the tip of my tongue. I found it. I found it. <laughs> Go on. Go on, sir. Go on. But um no he, okay so here here's um here's the funny secret here Bra brace yourself all right so while you screwed up I had a screw up too a screw up that I fixed beforehand and it screwed itself up anyway so um when you put a picture on OBS right it goes in different sizes 720p 1080p 4k etc etc I yeah. purposely put the picture for the Scarlet Nexus sponsor as a 1080p picture to go right over talk xbox to me while you read the sponsor guess what it loaded all screwed up in 4k <laughs> <laughs> so we both had, we both we both had a screw up so no, don't even don't even stress it but anyway guys special shout out to bandai namco and scarlet nexus for sponsoring today's episode of talk xbox to me and welcome to the finale of season one, we are here. Setsuya, what's good? Nevermore, what's good? And Asylum and Shiny, how are you both doing today? I exist. <laughs> um, I'm fine. <laughs> Shiny, you still getting clapped in, um, in Smash? I'm not. I'm, I'm playing Smash. is what the fuck you meant to say. Oh, okay. So you ain't getting Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take L's. That's <laughs> <laughs> cap. I, just... I won last round. Okay. That... <laughs> See, I would say I don't take L's, but you, someone who's we, we beat take... me in Smash may be in this podcast right now. And yeah, I'll be like, stop lying. Not... <laughs> I was dead. <laughs> I'm I not admit, getting I, caught up. I'm taking L's. <laughs> but I've also given them out just out on Smash because I am <laughs> atrociously bad at Smash. <laughs> So well, how do you jump? Oh yeah, you hit this button. Okay. How do you hit? Oh, you, you do this button. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna hit you once, and I'm gonna combo you. Wait, what? It's like, have mercy. I am noob, and no one has mercy ever. <laughs> also, nevermore. What the actual fuck? What do you say? When nine and nine meet nine, the depth of reason, the depth of reason shall stir. When the seal of the creation is broken, a voice like thunder shall sound, and thou shalt know we have arrived. Well, that Never whole quote down, please. that whole quote just makes me thankful because it makes me realize that, hey, worse comes to worse, Nevermore could start writing writing sponsor intros and making you read those and give when you a nine, crazy amount of um, tongue twisters. When 9 and 9 and 9, wait, when 9 and 9 meet 9, the depths of region shall... Re, mm, that's, turn into that one's kind of fast. Kind yeah. of hard. <laughs> when nine and nine meet nine, the depths of the region shall stir. When the seal of creation is broken, a voice like thunder shall sound, and thou shalt know we have arrived. Nevermore, your mind confuses me. And yet it makes perfect sense. This man knows a, a lot of uh, decent poetry. <laughs> well, he also knows an absurd amount about penguins. <clears throat> Don't put that much credit 
to his name right now tonight. <laughs> But all right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a great show for you guys tonight. This is the um the season finale, and as y'all can hear, Asylum just cracked the energy drink. So um, so it's gonna be serious. And he cracked it in perfect timing too, because um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The first topic we're gonna start with tonight is a little bit of a rant. And the thing is, if you know me at all, you knew this was coming. You knew it was inevitable. You Especially knew I was going to bring this words. up on this podcast eventually. But before I get this out, before I um I do um before we do get into this topic, I do want to make a few things clear because um this is a very um I don't know how can I say this, a sensitive topic for me. I, I'm I'm a little salty with this one, but um our first topic is actually revolving around the company Riot Games. And I want to say for starters that I think they're a great development team. I have nothing against them. No, I just shit. <laughs> I just have some um, very um, opposing opinions with a lot of the things that they say to the media. And um, that's what we're going to talk about today. And um, our, my first topic, I'm going to bring you guys to, uh, to your opinions. And Shiny, I know me and you have had some... A little bit of controversy with this discussion, so I would love for you to chime in and go in details, especially since you have developer experience. But my question for today is, does Riot Games hate console players? And I ask this because, um, number one, the Valorant console um, news that we got, Anna Donlin finally gave some, uh, some clarity. Valorant Mobile has been officially confirmed. And um, in the interview, she was asked, well, we're bringing the game to mobile. It's it's a shooter. Why not console? Anna Donlin made the claim to The Verge and I believe two other companies that the game translated easier to mobile. A first-person shooter translated easier to mobile than console. And also, I'm basing this off of the lack of... um of Wild Rift info for, you know, the other platforms that the game is supposed to come to. Wild Rift was announced as originally a mobile and console game. People have been... One thing I've, I have noticed is Valorant console isn't much requested, but Wild Rift console is because that was a promised game. You see it on Twitter with every single post. People asking, where's the console version? What's up with it? Um, I actually got a response one time and it just... The guy, one of the um, one of the team members, had said there was nothing he could share at this time. But um, I wanted to go ahead and get you guys' opinion on this and let y'all chime in. And uh, how do you feel? Do you guys feel that Riot doesn't like console, or are they just inexperienced with it, or whatever? I'll let you guys you guys go first because I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna rant. <laughs> so. <laughs> Shannon, do you want to go first? You know, you have more developer experience than I do. Probably, probably better if you go. go first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, feel free. I, no, like I can't wait for this. I, I, know, I, know, I know how he's going to start. To next, stop being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> go free, Shannon. You, you have Game a ass is trash. <laughs> Shouldn't exist. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, out of all seriousness, right? Um, translated easier to mobile, I can low key see that. And the only reason why, legitimately, the only reason why the what's going through in my head is like, how can I put this? So when I play Valorant, I can describe that experience as slippery. <laughs> I feel like Valorant is very slippery, um, and that's low key why I don't like it. But anyway point being is it I can I can I can see what she's saying like I feel like if I was playing if I was making this game right and I actually like put oh fuck one second if I actually put them like um um side by side like if I took the PC version right and after it was finished I started working on the mobile and console versions. I would probably have to do more work on the console version before, like, before, like, 
porting it to mobile version. Uh, and that being said, it's more like on the mobile, there's probably, I want to say that there's probably going to be tools to make it easier for mobile players. Yes. There's probably going to be bots and lobbies. Yes. But what they don't have to give a fuck about, I mean, they don't have to give a fuck about this on console, but it's most likely going to be on console is, um, aim assistance. Oh, fuck. Right. Um, they might have some... They might have some some something going on in terms of like I don't know <clears throat> stuff that happens with like Sony and Microsoft as well that we don't know about um, because to my knowledge, Riot has never put a game on console. Yeah, right? yeah they haven't. They've been they've been PC only for. And I was just like, that, that's that's kind of weird. So if they have very very a very popular game such as League of Legends, but at the same time. That is also another thing I've never really seen. Hold on, before I say that, let me let me go through recollection, recollection real fast. I've never really seen um, a top-down MOBA, not only just League, just top-down MOBAs on console, period. The only really MOBAs we have are Smite. Uh, Smite, we had Hyper Universe. We had, we had Paragon. Yeah. yeah. Paragon and Paragon also... isn't top-down, right? No. Mm-hmm. No. We do uh, have one top-down mobile on consoles. Though. It's um, it's Genesis, but that's on PlayStation. Okay. So it, they might just legitimately be having issues translating it to the system. They might be. Well, for Valorant, it once again being a shooter, they might be scared of it just not doing well on console. Because even if you're a fan for it. Mm-hmm. Let's just say me and my friends aren't fans of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I know Valorant's I mean, not everybody's cup we, of tea. We, yeah, I get we that. Can tell that you're, and, actually, we can tell you're not a fan of it. <laughs> and I still firmly believe that they have research showing that it won't do well, and that's probably why they're most scared. Because they're scared of wasting money. Because that's always the name of the game, money. Yeah. And they're scared of putting effort and money and time into this thing when they can just be working on another project to release that to be honest with you might be better on console um especially if they have to put time into console Valorant version to make it in somewhat of a different game that's gonna be kind of weird yeah cause that like I said at that point just make another game hey Satsuya what's up uh-huh. So, um, yeah, Shiny. So, I are you going to respond to the uh, the nerd XD? Yo, why does Shiny sound like he's going to be my new daddy? Oh, that's actually <laughs> that's actually my son. That's, that's well, Ray Ray. You're Ray has chosen the new dad. <laughs> Shiny, you're his dad now. Get your child, get your children. I'll play with you. The pops is right there, dude. <laughs> All right, so Asylum. Um, Anna Donlin's statement about Valorant translating easier to mobile than console. The lack of Wild Rift news for console. Um, how are you feeling about this? I'm annoyed, more annoyed than angry. Mm-hmm. Well, except for the part where it's like, oh, it translates better than the mobile, especially for like the Valorant aspect. Because. Fuck like putting shooters on mobiles. <laughs> like I want to play that shit on a console, <laughs> not on my fucking phone. Actually, right now I don't. I don't even have a phone that can run that. I don't know. My cod mobile pretty lit. I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> <laughs> In all I fairness, do. cod mobile is a good game, but I'm, I'm not playing that on a phone. It's, it's a cod I player's know. dream. I'm playing it on my iPad. I don't care. I'm not. I, I'm. I refuse. Fucking blue stacks China. that bad boy well, up, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that, honestly, just, I'm trying to blue stacks, man. I'm not going to touch that shit on my phone. <laughs> I, I refuse. Just fucking pull it. Like, if you're going to make it go to mobile, at least like, figure out like the basis of what allows you to put on mobile, and then suffer as you put it on console. <laughs> Don't waste our fucking time. At least occasionally give us, you know, a more, 
a more frequent update, like, hey, we, we managed to do this, or we managed to do this. Fucking to be fair, they aren't wasting your time. They never said that one was coming across, did they? Well, oh, no. Even, no I'm referring more, more to Wild Rift. Yeah. Oh, Wild, Wild Rift? That's yeah. Fair. Yeah, he's a, he's more so upset about that one. I'm the one I'm upset not, about I'm, Valorant. And I yeah, get upset about Valorant. I'm upset about Valorant. Upset about I like Valorant. League. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I like League. I want to earn console. Uh, God, I use Blue Stacks. I play well using Blue Stacks. It's fucking good. I'm a one trick Ari main, but like still. It's just like, fucking, just talk to us. Please. I'm yeah, so say, Anna, say don't something. talk. Just. <laughs> just Get someone else that's more likable. <laughs> get, get a better PR person. Goddamn. <laughs> well, the thing is, I don't even have a problem with Anna Donlin. I I like her. I like her. Um, and I know. Um, I like. <laughs> I like the um the other guy who's head of head of it too. I just I can't think I'll of think, I, I think I, of I his name right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I think that translates easier to mobile statements just always going to stick in your brain and be like, uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, that, that, that's going to stick with me. It just, it, it just upsets me. Yeah. Immensely. <laughs> it, just, it just pisses me off to, to no <laughs> fucking extent. Oh, I don't I don't blame you. I'm, it it makes me shit. angry, too, and I'm going to, um... I'm going to explain why. Now, um... Feel free. Okay. If I don't like your reasoning, so, I'll punch you. In the yeah, ball. so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the the ranty one here. I'm gonna be um, little Mister uh, little Mister Prick about this because I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When Anna Donlin said this in her interview, I was salty. Um, I I, I was pissed, you know, because Valorant on console. If you know me, you know it's something I'm passionate about. It's it's a big wish. It's a big dream. It's not like Riot ever promised it's gonna happen. It's just, it, it's something I want. And you know, I'm a gamer, a big ass yeah, kid. I'm, I'm not getting what I want. I'm throwing a little tantrum. All right, that's what this is. Okay. I can't relate with you on Valorant because last time we played Valorant, I couldn't go anywhere because I just kept getting like sniped. <laughs> Dead ass. Really like. Just yeah, just just fucking sniped. I couldn't fucking do anything. <laughs> At least on the fucking league, right. I can do things, Snack. Okay. Now here's here's my whole thing when it comes to this whole statement of Valorant translating easier to mobile. I definitely can see where it makes sense from a development standpoint because um one thing i have done is i have had the privilege to talk with a lot of developers being a console mmo enthusiast and i know console game development is complicated i haven't met a developer yet who said it's it's easier than pc most of the time you know pc is the most simple you don't got to buy dev kits you don't have to worry about um these restrictions you don't have to worry about certification and and yada 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 consoles a lot more a lot more just strict on pc you just drop it yeah. yeah like heck there are there are even like teenagers you know who develop pc games it's it's um it's it's a thing yeah but my my whole thing is when it comes to mobile and this is one reason i always um harp when i when i say something about a, um a mobile game coming to console um when you play it, well, let me ask you something. Shiny, for example, I'm going to ask you, so you, you said you play COD Mobile on your iPad all the time. How are you holding your iPad when you play COD Mobile? Shit, I hold it like a motherfucking controller. Yeah, That's man. my problem. <laughs> you can make the shooter work on a phone with two invisible analog sticks. But you can't make it work on a controller. Not invisible, they're just flat. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> that that that's my problem. You know, everything else I get. Like um even uh God, who who was it? My.com. They said um, for example, well, when they were bringing home. when they were bringing Skyforge to Switch, they said they had complications getting their micro transactions in the Nintendo store and stuff like that. I know console has all its little barriers and walls and hoops you got to go through, but there is no way in hell you are going to tell me that a first person shooter translates better to a phone than a controller. No, no, nah. Oh Don't my God. Don't you fucking Bro, talk about my, my around here. My, my brain exploded when I read that freaking article, man. 
like from from the development standpoint, you know, I, I get it. You know, the complications, the barriers around console, I, I get all that. But trans, oh man. And the only other thing is too, right? I get that you know, um, they don't have any experience with console. I'll give them that part either. But until they made Wild Rift, if I'm not mistaken, they didn't have experience with phones either. Or am I wrong? Uh, um, I I can't think of any examples before Wild Rift. Can you show me? I don't know, but I can tell you from experience, it's very easy to make a mobile game. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm sure a mobile game's pretty, pretty simple. I mean, there's people doing it left and right. You see all the games and damn apps in an, in an app store. For I like, made like, one in no, fucking like, high no, school. No absolute shit. Mm -hmm. Literally, you find a video for the controls of your mobile game, and then you do what you want. <laughs> oh no, that, no dead ass. So, no Shane, not even that. You can start making them in high school. There's dead ass a class. Devoted to making code, like to coding mobile games. Yeah, I believe I it. Was, I, I was in that class. It was boring as hell, but I was in that fucking class. And we all got high because someone started to smoke pot in the <laughs> fucking bathroom. And there's, there's massive vents in the bathroom. So like half the school got high, and I was in that half that got high. Because some dumbass started to smoke. And that, honestly, it was better. It was honestly getting like second hand high from kinds of. The dumbass fucking pot in the bathroom is more enjoyable than being in that <laughs> fucking class. I'm not gonna lie, but there's a whole ass class in high school devoted to it. Yeah, it's it's stupid. But no, but man, I just even gave us uh, iPads for it. But like, the th and the only the only thing about it is like if mobile didn't control so much like a controller with most games, like fine, even Wild Rift, the way you play that is exactly how you'd play it with a controller. The movement is mapped on the left side where an analog stick would be. And the attacks are mapped on the buttons on the right side, where your thumb would be for the buttons. And like I said, I'm not going to say you no know, console game development's easy. I don't have no sp experience with game development. I have the little bit of knowledge I've gotten by talking with the few developers that I have. But I'm sorry, a first-person shooter translating to mobile easier than easier than a controller. Just mm -mm -mm. and the thing that makes me mad is too is she specifically mentioned in the article it translating to controller is harder. She didn't say translating to console, meaning they're really having difficulties putting that on a controller. Yeah, I don't necessarily understand that part at all. Yeah, yeah that, 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 that just doesn't make sense. Especially when I saw how many abilities you have in Valorant. Yeah, uh, like there, it's a couple. <laughs> it's like three, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's literally just three. Like, yo, look at Overwatch. Look at Paladins. No, no, <laughs> like, fucking Terra. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Terra, you did us have two fucking bars. Guys, look at I'm Final Fantasy XIV. No excuses, bro. Fucking Diablo got like 12, eight abilities on that bitch. Yeah, yeah. Just like, yeah, just like, you can fit tw like 12, anywhere between oh God. 12. Final and Fantasy 45. 14, Elder Scrolls, like all these MMOs, these guys can get 10, 20, 30, 40 moves mapped on a controller. Y'all can't get two abilities in an ultimate with a shoot, aim, reload. I don't know what kind of competitive analysis they're doing with their fucking yeah. mode. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and the thing is, like, and here's the thing with Valorant. This is another free free button you got. You can't sprint in the game. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't. So, boom, another free button. See, that button... Okay, it depends on what button you'd use to sprint, though. Yeah. If it's the left analog stick, I'm going to be hitting that button way too, too many times accidentally. <laughs> I'm going to get fucked. Yeah, no, there are some people that press on their analog stick sometimes when they're just um using it, period. I think I think Aki even does that occasionally. No, it's like, I do it just instinctively. <laughs> you remember, I play a lot of games that are shooters that have a lot of running, and I'm just running all the time. Cold War, for example, tonight, mm -hmm. on one of your latest videos, where when I became the, uh, like the, the, the guy that has to run, mm -hmm. I didn't, remember when I didn't stop fucking running? Yeah. Just instinctually, I just booked it. Mm -hmm. I do that in every game. <laughs> I'm going to fuck up in Valorant well, if they put anything on that button. <laughs> or, oh, or Wild man. Rift. They put that shit on, anything on Wild Rift on that button. I'm yeah, and that's, that's the thing, too. With Wild Rift, right? Another thing I was kind of expecting, too. Is um especially with the Pokemon Unite hype going right now, and which is another top-down MOBA coming to a console, the not weakest of the consoles at that. <laughs> not not to mention uh, with what you shared, it's going to be so much easier to get characters. Yeah, 
I just, you know, I was thinking they would have teased or, you know, just said something just to remind players like, hey, we got a mobile, a MOBA coming to console too. Just something, but. Yeah, no, nothing. It's nothing. Like, and like, it, it was literally like the, the whole thing of um, Wild Rift, their social media feed for the past year has been nothing but giving players updates on mobile, 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 this region, that region. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, mobile's out. Yay. Now let's talk about competitive 24-7. Screw the other platforms we're bringing it on. Let's not mention them at all. Not to mention that they've already done like some events on mobile. That once it, comes, like, once it does come to console, mm-hmm. we're not going to fucking have those events. Yeah. We're, we're going to miss out on so much stuff. What was a fucking Ari skin? <laughs> like, mm, I'm angry. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just gonna lose me to Pokemon Unite, dude. Yeah, like, I'm, a po- I'm a Pokemon noob. Right. And the thing is, like Pokemon Unite, you know, it's not months away. It's not. It's days, weeks. It launches yeah. in July. It's it's literally like two weeks away. No, not even like there, two. there's a Japanese oh, beta that I could literally show y'all gameplay of right now. You could, yes. Yeah. I'm probably gonna play it for a few hours af- after this podcast. No, you're not. I want to. Like you want to? No, not yet. You're you're gonna have to wait until you fucking take my Pokemon. <sighs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Nevermore. I so wish you had a Switch, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, and that, that, not to mention, like, Pokemon Unite, they're doing everything backwards. Like, this one shocked me, but even the way they're doing it isn't bad. They were like, Switch version launches in July, mobile version launches in September. And they're keeping all of their fans up to date on their platform. And not to mention, you know, they're not like, hey, um, Switch is going to release here and mobile is sometime down the line. We'll, we'll update you when we can. No. They gave a release frame for both, and they're within a couple months of each other. Sorry, mobile players, it's going to take a little bit longer, but you'll, but it'll be launching here. Like, they're not waiting around for a time frame or, or anything. And these, this is a company that's doesn't, Pokemon doesn't do MOBAs. Now, granted, you know, Tencent's behind it. They have MOBA experience, but they had to implement all of that, you know, from Pokemon. And even these guys can give updates. You know, that's kind of that's kind of a kind of a shame that you know a much much bigger much you know much bigger company can't even give us the sim- simple simple updates. Yeah, I just like do you know just an update right now and then? That's all we're asking for. Yeah, like I'm I'm not saying you know we need a release date right now. I don't need a I don't need a guarantee that you know Valorant console is gonna going to happen or, or anything like that just um just a little correction Tencent is is the Disney of China by the way it's Tencent's bigger than right <laughs> oh they are they bigger than right okay <laughs> yeah, Tencent mm. Tencent is not the I know part. Tencent are big but I just I, I have no idea how big no they they're like Disney in China they have more <laughs> than games I mean they, they own the like half of Warfare now Shoot, yeah, net, hell, right? Call, call Tencent. Help, have them help you with Wild Rift console. Shit, they know what they're doing. Yeah, but and Tencent, then, uh, they do. Well, in China, at least. Uh, here, here they go. You know, they can call Tencent. They can call Tencent for Wild Rift, and then they can call um, damn, what's the name of that company that does like every Switch port? Panic button. Call them for Valorant console. Boom, done. Easy. Uh, <laughs> I know that uh, I've seen that comp, that that name before. I'm trying to level up for that song. Yeah, they um they did Apex Legends on Switch. They did um oh. they did all the Dooms. They've, oh, that's where I saw a Doom. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like Panic Button. Those are solid. If you want something converted to another platform, that's the people to talk to. Like they will make anything work on anything. And like they're they're not even that big. They're just um, they're oh. talented and dedicated. I'm still a little fuck talented, though. Not gonna lie. So like they they dead ass bought half of Warframe. Mm-hmm. 
And but the updates made to the fucking warfare, dude. Like half the shit, you, shit is that you're gonna be grinding for potentially days, if not months, just to get one supply. Because everything now is just one hundred percent RNG. Mm-hmm. And you saw you saw how bad my RNG was. Trying to find one fucking thing to scan. Asal, my honest recommendation to you is if you want a decent sci-fi like grindy game or MMO that's not going to screw you and BS you 24-7 play New Genesis that's my baby, I've, my baby. I keep forgetting to restart the download yeah it's um it's uh it, it's download a start it's a lot it's a lot better than than Fantasy Star Online 2 it's mm-hmm, way mm-hmm. less um oh, compl- complex and complicated it's literally simple go out kill monsters Farm gear, increase your gear score, do your quest, rinse and repeat. But yeah, so what was I saying? Uh, you know, ever since Tenta took over half of it, with the, like, some of the, some of the thing in the Warframe, though, that the drop rate is like 0.00038. Yeah. It, <laughs> it, you know, it's dead ass. It, it's, you, pay, you, you, pay, you basically buy, have to pay things, buy, buy things now. Just... Dude, ten, Tencent, they, they, they make weird decisions and stuff and stuff anyway. They they sit in here they're developing they're Pokemon they're Unite they're for for um for Switch, but they gave up on Arena of Valor on Switch. I don't I don't understand that. Arena one of the, Valor is actually decent. Yeah, one of the most popular MOBAs in the world. Oh, it didn't make us billions in, in five seconds, so we're gonna stop giving updates. Yeah, that's, that's but, but, yeah Jay Cruz is here though, by the way. Hey Jay, what's good, man? Cash, you feel me? <laughs> like, yo, I, 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 I get it, man. You're supposed to make a profit and everything off of these, but Jesus bro, Christ, they... give the games a chance to to do something. Ah, bro, they say what? Ten days? <laughs> <laughs> if it if it ain't Mega Millions out the door, nah, shut it down. They say Turn the servers off. Money like Genshin Impact? Man, <laughs> fuck y'all. <laughs> exactly. Welcome back, Cecilia. Uh, he says he's loving ESO so far. That's good. Uh, I have not tried the new DLC, but I have like every other DLC though. <laughs> yeah, Cecilia, I haven't touched the new DLC yet, but I did post some um, some next gen gameplay at ESO today, and I gotta say it looks really good, especially when you turn on oh, yeah. performance mode. Oh my god! Yeah, like, ESO yeah. looks fucking nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> shiny. Jake says, yo, Shiny, when you play Pally, does it make you miss Battleborn? I play who? Paladins. No, Paladins doesn't make you miss Battleborn. Battleborn makes me miss Battleborn. <laughs> <laughs> Battleborn played like no other game, to be yeah. totally honest with you. Yeah. It was a very unique game. There's a lot of characters, especially one that I'm thinking of, that I just think of, and I'm just like, damn, that bitch did <laughs> She's lost. Yo, why'd you have to say it like that? <laughs> because Alani was amazing. I see. I see. Dude, she Battleborn was... was... <sighs> that was broken as hell. Um, a lot of people complained about her. She got nerfed. And then she was... She bounced. And she was still fun to play. Battleborn Gigantic. Two hero shooters that did not deserve to get, be kicked down. I got to play one and I get to play the other. <sighs> The, no, moment I, the, most the upset, day I was I mean, going to play Gigantic, it got shut down. I mean, to be fair, the most exciting one is fucking uh, MHO. I'd probably still be playing that game to this day. I feel like a lot of people like, would be. Like, like, if that game didn't get shut down, bro, Fantasy Star would have came out, I would have looked at Tanaka, I would have been like, I don't give a fuck. Oh, what, uh, Marvel Heroes, dude? Oh, my God, don't even, don't even get me started on that. <laughs> that shit, Oh. Yeah, Marvel Heroes, man, that, that that one hurts like every day. Idea. And then the thing is, like, I had I had so much faith in the new Marvel game too. I told I told my subscribers, man, I, I told I told them to. I, I was confident, I was cocky about like the thing. <laughs> and the thing is, right, <laughs> this is the worst part. I know when it comes to the to the Marvel Avengers game, I'm gonna have to make an I'm sorry video eventually because I'm I'm just gonna be like, look, y'all. I told y'all this game was gonna be great, and they're just. <laughs> Oh, man, because, and the thing is, right, and I just, I don't want to set myself up in that situation again, but there's um a little, a little sneak peek, guys, because y'all, y'all are going to see this video from me next week. It's one of the videos I'm currently working on. 
Um, a game for PlayStation was recently announced called Babylon's Fall. Um, they showed it, what was it, last year, or the year before, they released a trailer for it. Everyone thought it was, you know, like, um, it, and this, it's a game that was in collaboration with Square Enix and Platinum Games. So, two big giants, you know, building something awesome. You know, it, it's it was, a, it was a dope thing. It looked like, you know, just one of their typical hack and slash single player things. However, it teased four characters at the end of the trailer. Me, when I saw that, I was like, all right, I think there's going to be a, a multiplayer element to this. And I was thinking, you know, it would be probably like a... A um, excuse me, a Dark Souls style multiplayer or or something like that, just because the aesthetic of the game. They finally talk about it again, like a year and a half later, show it at E three and stuff this year, and come to find out, it's a um multiplayer online co op action RPG, a, a loot game, a, a grind, a loot grinder. And you know how people get when it comes to games as a service games. Now, the developer has already said multiple interviews. They're confident that their 1.0 version and the content they have prepared is going to be more than enough to keep players busy until, you know, their their new content that they bring out into the game arrives. But we've, we've all heard that saying before. But the only main reason I really trust this is because it's Platinum Games. If it wasn't, say, if it wasn't Platinum... Square. Yeah, if it wasn't Platinum then you know i'd be i'd be a little i'd be a little sketchy and i mean i even trust trust square enix to an to an extent and like i know some people are probably iffy about square especially after avengers but you, the thing you got to remember about square enix is these guys they're doing they're doing final fantasy 14 they know how to make a a live service game are they making some no, silly that's... mistakes yeah but yeah i'm not saying the live service but i'm just talking about enough content yeah, uh, and one point over. I yeah, that's that's on what they need 100% to. Percent on platinum. Yeah. Platinum knows how to put a lot of shit into a game. Yeah, shit that actually matters. Shit that's actually fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna be. I'm trusting platinum on um on this one. I'm not, I'm excited for it. But <clears throat> I know it's gonna be controversial because it's a live service game. But all right. Um, we got way, way off topic. Uh, we're, well, hang on a sec. We're, we're about to stay off topic for like an, another minute. Um, mm-hmm. So there's nothing everyone to announce the Bard class. When the fuck is that shit coming out? With the next mod. So, I'm going to assume since it was already on test server, probably another month, in another month or so it'll be on PC. I'm going to say sometime between July and August. Console usually gets the updates two and a half months later, so September, October. I'm going to say October or November for console. All right, well, then, Tzeka, I'm going to have your ass all of uh, October or and or November. Oh, yeah, I know. Out. We're, we're barding I'm, together. I'm going to fuck you in the ass. Oh. The healing. <laughs> my, my, my. <laughs> You're going to start at level one. <laughs> I'm going to go into all those dungeons with you as a level 50, if not higher by that time, because I've been playing the game solo again. <laughs> and by the time that comes out, you won't die. And you get plenty of opportunities to experience if, in your opinion, Bard is good or not. I'm assuming it is, but you never know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought you were going to play Bard with me. Fuck no. Why? You're the one that wants a spellcaster that uses a sword. Uh, all right. I am going to continue playing the broken warlock healer. <laughs> I just have to get to like level sixty to get my everything back because they fucked up my build. Okay, fair point. You win. You win that one. Okay. <laughs> you really thought I was going to fucking play for? I, mean, I could. I could, but I'm not. All right. Well, moving on to our next topic. So, Borderlands Three crossplay. I think it's actually finally here. Yeah, I played with my friend. The day it came up. Nice. But, unfortunately, I gotta finish this statement. It's here on all platforms but PlayStation. Fuck them. Classic Sony. (sighs) I'm really starting to wonder if, um, because we all know that 2K, um, supposedly anyway, has a little greed thing. I wonder if what was leaked from that epic court case about PlayStation 
getting a little fee for crossplay is true. And 2K were just like, screw that. Because Randy Pitchford's exact words were, we were demanded by the publisher to not to take down crossplay for PlayStation consoles. Blech. What do you guys think is going on here? Do you think Borderlands on PlayStation will get crossplay eventually? What's y'all opinion? Ooh. Hmm. Sony being greedy boys, or what um. is? It? Um, I definitely think it will get crossplay if they come to a contract. I probably right. don't have to get the contract for it. I mean, everything revolves I, around money. I won't be surprised if Sony is just like, I want X amount of a purchase. Um, some shit like that. Um, Honestly, yeah. It, it, everything in today's society revolves around money. So honestly, I'm not, I'm not that surprised that Sony would be wanting a little bit extra. This is the same company that said crossplay because even like being bought up widely. This is the same company that said if you want to play with people on PlayStation, you gonna need a PlayStation. That just equals some more fucking money. <laughs> PlayStation ain't fucking cheap. <laughs> yeah, good luck fucking finding a PS5 this right now. This on fucking PS4. Man, yeah. 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 And they finally... They finally gave in, and it took a long time, but now I see why, especially if that, um... If that document's real about, um, then them getting an extra cut. And the thing is, it, it would make sense, because Epic, of all people, they could afford to give that cut easily, too, and they probably never have to, because... The only time the publisher or the developer will owe Sony money is if they don't make a certain amount in microtransactions. And I'm pretty sure Fortnite sells decently in microtransactions every single month. Shit, so I don't, I don't think... <laughs> you know, I feel like Fortnite does uh, a little bit more than well. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like Fortnite does uh, excellent in terms of selling shit via microtransactions because they actually... So the recent schemes have been pretty, pretty decent. They know how to make some scams. Yeah, they do. And the thing is, that's another thing that drives me crazy. I don't know why some other developers cannot follow this model, especially MMO nutbags. Just, just do what <laughs> Epic's doing. God, it's frustrating as hell. Oh, also, Dauntless. That's right. Dauntless is part of that too. Yeah. Dauntless, Dauntless does it just like that, and they're fine. They're adding a bunch of stupid, convoluted um, leveling systems to their game that is annoying the shit out of me, but that's a topic for another day. See, yeah, I want to get Peter back made? into Dauntless, but, like, I just... I'm like, bro, I yeah, play Monster Hunter. I'm going about my day. Yeah, like, as a main, I'm not too affected by the leveling system. Yeah, well, it, it affects the hell out of me as a sword user. Well, yeah, like every, it's literally every other weapon type is affected more than I am. Yeah. Because like, um, mine's, mine's super easy to level. Your guys like, is, dude, is, I'm is serious. Getting, Dauntless is getting mm -hmm. on like a damn Skyforge level with so many different ways to level up and boost your character. Yo, just please stop. Although, Let me although, farm yeah. gear, farm weapons, boost gear, boost weapons, and leave it there. So tonight, um, they are actually going to be nerfing the requirements to level up. I think they saw the, the, requir the requirements about halfway through. It's like, wait a second. I hope they did, man. You I know? just, I hope, I'm sick of oh, all these no, no, extra skill it. trees and doing this and doing, I'm, I'm just like, oh, man. Like, I, I got on there, like, that. last week or the week before. I looked around, and the shit literally reminded me of Skyforge. I was just like, no. I'm not doing yeah, it. No, yeah, yeah, they, they did announce it. That, that, like they, they did come to a realization that you know, we fucked up. <laughs> Thank God. So that will, they, they will be uh, re reducing the requirements to level up. I hope. But I, I know hope I do don't. like what Dauntless has been doing when adding the new behemoth types. Yeah, is, that's uh, cool. They, yeah, like the powerful ones, and you got the strongest one having shields, and the shields have different effects that can fuck you up. I know yeah. this because Snake almost because Snake killed me using one of these shields. <laughs> Like, what they're doing to spice up the fights with the behemoth, the way they're adding content, that's good. Just stop changing the game so much. 
It was fine the way it was. Like that's oh. all we want to do. We want to kill monsters with our friends and get cool loot. That's also, the point of every the, action that. RPG. Change the resi- uh, change the radiant uh, hard hard the uh, hard radiant boss to anything that is not a Resicure clone. <laughs> yeah, that too. Please. I, I hate Resicure. I don't even, I don't even know why the, the whole community hates Resicure. I don't. He's well, a creative. He's he's, he's a creative monster, but people he, just don't he, like he it. He looks he looks good. Um, people don't want to be playing Bullet Hell. <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. You just crack him a couple times. Go with that. Yeah. That is, you can get to him. <laughs> Motherfucker will trap you and then proceed. You know what? You know how you can't hit me. Yeah. I can still hit you. And who just fucking do bullet hell while you're trapped in the fucking bubble? <laughs> and like as a repeater main, I don't have an attack speed fast enough to break that bubble on top. And the amount of radiant bullets he throws at you while you are in, the, in that bubble, you are not going to be dodging. So you, so you're pretty much forced to take damage at, as a re, as a repeater main. You're not leaving that. <laughs> like chain blades has have an easier time because they they have this instant dodge that they can do that's pretty cheap. Hmm. Sword means they have a, a couple more dodge options. Nowhere near as many as fucking chain blade. Chain blade is just fucking nuts this dodge. Right. But like repeater mains, your only dodge is to put your guns away and roll. <laughs> and then you, you just wait for either someone to break you out or for it to go away in a zone. And then that fucking swirling beam is really weird because right. like that's that's like the when it has the multiple beams and they're spinning. It's really, for me anyways, it's really hard to tell how close you are to the beam. Because I've been nicked by that beam, like, not even full-on hit, just nicked by it many times. It's, it's just enough to catch you. It's like, fuck you, bitch. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. Hashtag Volamir is better than Resicure. Honestly, <laughs> just, make, just make a bigger Volamir. Shoot, make a crazier version of him. Spice him up a bit. Shit, I'll take that. Volamir is a fun fight. But um, the next topic we had was yeah, actually well, well, the Rhinoceros Wait, Beetle. <laughs> was actually um Sony charging compensation fees for crossplay, but that literally just falls into the Borderlands Three um topic yeah, you, we were literally just talking. <laughs> you literally just mixed topics. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> but God, um, bad host, bad host. Okay, so our next one is uh, just a real simple question. Um, guys and everyone in chat, feel free to answer this too. Uh, how did you guys feel about E3? Did you see um Xbox or Nintendo's conferences? Did you see anything you liked at at E3? Anything got you excited? I've been at work, didn't really get to see jack shit. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me go back to that day in my brain, right? Right. Right. So I was there for the Xbox One Live. I was just like, man, whatever, you know. Shit coming to Game Pass, cool. But does the exclusives, cool. Sony suck dick, cool. That was that was the message they said, right? Um, um. So I was like, whatever. And then Nintendo E3 shit happened. And I was at work that day, and I came back and saw all the videos. I said, huh? <laughs> Is that Metroid? <laughs> I said, stop, stop. What were you talking about, baby? What are you talking mm. about? That's all that mattered. Metroid was show. That's all that mattered. Right. Fair. Yeah, Metroid Fair. Dread. And it has a release date that ain't too far away. Like, I'll give Nintendo that. They keep dropping these random bombshells, and they're like, oh, yeah, by the way, you don't got to wait a century for it. It comes out in a um, couple months. Yeah, they, they like to do that. They like to show it. Usually, they'll show, when they show gameplay trailer, you best believe you're going to release it. Yep. If they show you a teaser, <laughs> I'll see you later. Yeah. Yeah, well, Shiny over here just fucking covering in his pants. What the fuck? Yeah, the um, I'll say the Xbox conference. It wasn't bad for like a diehard Xbox fan, but I wasn't. I don't, I don't know. I wasn't too too crazy about it. I mean, I liked what I saw with Halo Infinite. And that other right. vampire game that they announced, um, I don't know what the hell it was. That was a Bethesda game. That's yeah. Be up to, yep. Um, something <laughs> blood. It was mad for like 
regular people. It was hoorah for the Xbox purists, and it was fucked with us the for the Sony boys. Right. <laughs> that's basically what it turned to. Yeah, pretty. I much. mean, fair. I mean, that's fair though. Because I remember literally the next day. The one of the dudes at Bethesda said sorry to the people on Sony, and I was like, "What you saying sorry for?" Yeah, I mean, uh, y'all paid how many million for that studio? <laughs> billion, I think. Yeah, billion. like God, three, four. That's a lot of money. Yeah, so see, I think Starfield's gonna be um gonna be pretty good. Um, just uh, I I don't know, I don't know if I'm salty because they just didn't. Say anything about Crossfire X or what, but E3 this year, it just, it didn't, nothing just, nothing wowed me this year, man. I, I don't know what it was, like, and the weird thing is, everybody didn't really care for Square's conference, but that was actually the one I enjoyed the most. I hate to say, I, I was hype about the the Babylon's Fall announcement and um, Stranger in Paradise, but <laughs> Square's really turned into um. We're pissed about a live service game and uh, chaos. I mean, <laughs> yeah, they opened with Guardians of the Galaxy, and I was watching it with my friend, and we kind of just made a face at each other. Like, Ugh. yeah, when I saw that, I was like, <laughs> I was like, y'all got an Avengers game that's pissing off the whole planet, and what do y'all do? <laughs> Let's make another one. <laughs> now, to be fair, this is like a solo experience, but at the same time, I was like, it looks so close to Avengers. Yeah, it does. It's that a single player I, game, but it looks just like Avengers. <laughs> I was just like, I don't care, man. I, I don't care, my guy. As someone who didn't watch any of the uh, the E3 shit, I have no opinion on anything. <laughs> but I will say, I saw an article recently about EA. They have a look into uh, revive a franchise. Oh yeah, and Dead a Space. A lot of people are, are pretty sure it's going to be Dead Space. Dude, that is one that a lot of people have been wanting to come back because it was unfairly shut down. Yeah. And I am on that team of bring that game back. You Up know, in this graphics, EA it, shutting... This graphics still good. Yeah, EA shutting down Visceral was a dick move. You know why? <laughs> oh, yeah, Visceral, uh, Visceral and Redwood Studios. Yeah. Visceral, they made one boo boo by making Dead Space Three more action focused than than horror focused. Okay. Uh, okay. No, no. Okay. See, that pisses me off even more because it was the only natural course for Dead Space to go, given it's protagonist. Yeah, and then another. Yes, yeah. an engineer. Right. He, he got forced. He, he he was just plunged into this bullshit. The second one, he comes out of a coma. He gets plunged into the bullshit again because while in the coma, he created the issue. Right. And then the third one. He knows how the markers work. He's destroyed markers. He has killed countless necromorphs already. Yeah, so he's he, not, at he this not point, going to be phased. Yeah, at this point, he should be, you know, a walking badass. You you would think so. Yes, he is. Like, well, okay, <laughs> if you were to put, like, Master Chief and Isaac Clark next to each other, and like, have them show each other pictures of their main enemies, mm -hmm. they're going to be like, you know, our main enemies are really similar. So how do you kill yours? Just shoot it. What about you? Dismember it. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, how'd you wipe out yours uh, initially? You, well, destroyed the planet. What about you? Same. But you have more, you have more against the guy, do you? Uh, what about your second one? Uh, blew up the station. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what about your third game? So, a planet was unthawed, was a giant necromorph, and I said, fuck it, and I rethought it. You rethought a planet, yes. Yeah. What about you? Uh, you know, just destruction. Just blow them up. It's like okay, okay, and they, they'll just fucking team up. Yeah, like, like what? What, what is the shit. point of having all that badass space gear on and everything if you're not supposed to rip the aliens apart with it? Like, actually, <laughs> no, to that, get the, the the most badass space gear in the Dead Space universe uh -huh. is an engineer's outfit. Oh yeah, <laughs> motherfucker goes sure. with a basic engineer outfit and just. And his in the upgrades are literally just small pieces of metal put onto the fucking shoulders, <laughs> the chest, and the legs, for the for the base suit. And you can run that suit throughout the entirety of all three games. Well, that's uh, no, you can't do it with three so much because it's not your starting suit. But like the first two games, you you did ask in an engineering suit. 
Right. Just, you, you just upgrade. Just upgrade to put a couple more pieces of metal. You're good to <laughs> go to take on enemies that if you remove the head, they don't die. Right. They keep running at you, just more viciously. <laughs> Well, honestly, for you, man, I, I really hope um, dead sp the Dead Space rumor is true because ever since I've known you, you've been talking about this. That's one franchise you've wanted to see come back in. I, I would that. love to see EA bring back a next generation, just done right version of, of Dead Space, you know, and just, uh, just to give you a smile on your face because I personally, I, didn't, I haven't told you guys, but I actually have my own beef with EA. For shutting down visceral not only dead space but um visceral made another game that's uh pretty dear to my heart and um it wasn't the most favored game on the planet but um they actually made a battlefield game it was called battlefield hardline the one based oh. on um cops and robbers I, I remember that one yeah one of the most unique and different takes in the series now it didn't do too well because it was different but I swear, it's like every time a developer does something to try and stand out or be different, it, it bones them. I mean, it's and like... I hate uh, that. <laughs> like, that, like, that's how all my favorite games get shut down. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Battlefield Bad Company. Mm -hmm. Like, EA has no clue why the fuck people enjoy that game. Yeah. Hell, some I, developers don't even understand why, why, why we enjoy the game. Because it was the best. It was like the first <laughs> iteration, one of the first iterations of y'all doing Battlefield correctly. <sighs> his own developers and he is just like why do people enjoy this game and we're just like we just enjoy it make more of this type of game and we're and just then, like and we're and just looking and we're just looking at them like yo have y'all played it like try it just, just fucking play like it. you don't know what it's like to go on um one of those classic maps fire a grenade launch right through the window of a house and watch it fall on somebody's head no, 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 while rushing not. that one map to be objective and rush like, like that, that one map with a gigantic tower with mm -hmm. the elevator in it yeah destroying its supports <laughs> while there's pe like enemy players in that oh, oh not even just enemy players allies yep and they're just watching it fall yeah bad company 2 was a freaking oh my god a classic no that classic. like there were occasional bugs like occasionally if you set off an explosive mm-hmm Every tree on the map would bend. At a <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. That. And, and then snap back into place. Um, little fun, little fun fact about me. Um, Battlefield Bad Company Two was actually the first platinum I ever got in my life on a PlayStation platform. <laughs> wow. Yeah, first platinum I ever got. Battlefield Bad Company Two at like four in the morning. I was literally in in my room just screaming out of hype. Like, yay, I finally platinum the game. Finally, my favorite shooter. <laughs> Wake up everyone in the fucking house. Yep, and then and then also <laughs> the first shooter I ever played competitively, too. When I played game battles back in 2010, 2011. That's what it was on, Bad Company 2. Nice. That was a see you. It's all good, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I want to see more map about um, EA shutting down um, Redwood Studios. Mm -hmm. Because like all the visual effects for like the opening sequence and the sound work was done by them, and to, like they they did ass bought a goat, killed it, and then let it rot, and they recorded it for the opening sequence of Dead Space One. Right. Do, do you have any idea how much fucking work they they put into the game just to make it just to make its atmosphere horrifying? And EA just said, you know, you're not doing good enough. Goodbye. <laughs> and just, they would they fucking just toss him to the void. It's like, stop it. Why? They, they did good. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm still salty about that. <laughs> like, that, what made Dead Space good was his atmosphere. Not, not even his graphics. His graphics just happened to still be really good. The atmosphere of Dead Space. Right. Is amazing. And it's not going to be the same now if they were to make, like, a fourth game. Because <laughs> not not going to happen. Anyway, we should move on to the next topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a damn shame. But um, well, anyway, the next topic is actually uh, EA related. So you were, you were um, you were leading us right into our next topic, despite us, despite me and you just you know rambling. But um, God, so I'm just a god, man. I'm just a god. So we're gonna cover all this in in one topic. But um, 
you guys' thoughts on Battlefield 2042? Shiny, I don't know if you've seen it yet. And um, how do you guys <laughs> feel about the next Call of Duty being rumored to be another World War II game? Let me tell you something. Will this be the year that Battlefield finally gives them the face kicking that they need? <laughs> um, let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. Talk, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this, man, this man over here. Um, anyway, let me tell you something, right? So, 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 so. 2042 looks absolutely amazing. And the only reason why? That bitch is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Honestly, really, it looks like Call of Duty Black Ops 2. You ever, yeah, you well, it does. At... Black Ops 2 was future, semi futuristic. Yeah, true. I was just like, Yes, yeah, yeah Black Ops 2 on a grand scale. I never even thought about that. <laughs> I like that. Shit looked juicy. I'm so excited. yeah. Black Ops 2 was in what 2025 or something like that. Yeah, that was yep. close. Yeah, and this is um. Um, well, well, the other thing that I'm uh, really excited about, or I guess not really excited about, more like the other thing we have to talk about, World War Two again. No, I don't care. I'm tired of going back. We, we've already I'm, done it. I'm like, really what, three tired times? of that shit. Yeah. I'm tired of using these old ass guns that we've used before. You can't make up old guns, motherfucker. What the hell? Yeah, there's no, there's not much room for creativity. Like. Like the uh, one red is nice and all, right? But I've seen it. I've seen it enough times. <laughs> like we have. Stop. We have. Um, what, what, what games do we have? We like have I can only do D Day in a World War Two game so many times. <laughs> we have a war. We have the Vien. We we were in Vietnam. We have the Cold War. We have World War Two already. Actually, we've been there a lot, bro. Sick, please just stop Let the it go. Just veer away from the world wars just right. make a new one god sl- sledgehammer please just like i know the fan base whined about the futuristic games but god just make an advanced warfare 2 and make it like black ops 2 i don't i don't know like make it futuristic with boots on the ground that's all you gotta do people only the only thing people hated about the future games was the thrust jumping and the supply drops take those two things out Boom, future games will work. <laughs> and that way you have your I feel like you're a lot more open creatively. You can make you a, are. a yep. lot more shit because we don't know what the future holds, therefore you can just make whatever the fuck you want. No, dead ass. You can make a futuristic shooter, like for Call of Duty, based off the ending to Call of Duty Ghosts. You can get a whole ass fucking game from that ending alone. Mm-hmm. And Infinity they War, they scared to even touch the ghost IP again because yeah, so many people about say, whined about it. And it's just annoying because the ghost ghost IP isn't bad. We just didn't like the multiplayer. Like the campaign was great. Everybody loves ghost campaign. Yeah. We just don't give a fuck about the multiplayer because we died and like it felt like a bullet. Yeah. That time to kill was so quick and those maps were massive. <laughs> at, at least on that one though, for the multiplayer, to get a thermal scope was like er- super early on. Oh yeah. Uh, so it's like I was able to do pretty good because I could actually see because a thermal scope makes everything black, white, and gray. Right. It's like I can pick all you motherfuckers off from over here. You won't find me, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Um. So like, Cod, I, I, Cod I was Ghost actually, was actually, actually a, good. yeah, it was actually a fun, fun one. I like I like the ghost. You know, I like the little um, fast TTK, somewhat campyish shooters. And I'm not gonna lie, the castle map was a bit annoying every fool in a ghillie suit laying out in the grass somewhere just <laughs> popping you in you your wanted. spawn That's war. <laughs> well, the thing is though right i mean that that's how it is though what are you, what are you gonna do if you in war in real life you, yeah, you gonna sit nice. behind cover and cry that the dude's camping in a bush <laughs> or are you gonna find a way to kill him <laughs> and cod is like i know you know this tonight but cod isn't even real that bitch is like arcadey as hell yeah it is and I think that's why they trying to like um slowly creep into that into those big um player game territories too because um the, the arcade shooter space they're running out of ideas with that. They're Yeah. 
Just, just to think the the, the arena and the hero the shooters are taking over. Uh, and I, I, me personally, I enjoyed when COD had abilities with specific characters. Yeah, I like that dude, Black Ops Four. I love that game. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, Black Ops Four. Um, the only argument I heard, like a viable argument I heard about the operator system in Black Ops Four to Black Ops Three, um, some people felt like it was a little broken that operators were able to have both their like tool and their weapon. Mm-hmm. Which I can see sometimes being busted, like the like fire break. Yeah, he was a little out of pocket sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. oh yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking fire break would piss the, me. The would fucking thermometer and his flamethrower. Oh, oh uh, war machine. That fucking too. The, ballistic the armor launcher. and her fucking grenade launcher. Hilarious. Yep. Like what for it is, the woman. She didn't have to kill anyone. She would just start firing. It's like. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I that's exactly what I did. That. I ain't even going around the corner. I would just be like, yeah, there's somewhere over there. Just shoot. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, if I go around that corner, I'm either A, going to successfully kill this bitch, right. or B, I'm going to get blown sky high. It's a 50-50. I might as well try. <laughs> or if you're like me, there's a war machine over there. I'm not going to be a fucking idiot. And I'll just, I'll just fuck off. It's like, I'm not going to fucking deal with that right now. I refuse. Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't. I can't wait for um Battlefield twenty forty two. I just want to know um cross play information and what they're gonna do. EA is being like really hush hush about some details with the game for some odd reason because uh <clears throat> I just want to know if it's cross play that, that so that I can play with everybody. It's not gonna matter what what platform I'm gonna play on because especially I got a um <clears throat> special shout out to uh. J Craze too for the early B Day hookup. Um, thanks to him, I got a ton of PSN credit. I'm um, sitting on my on my PS5, so I can so if I can pre-order Battlefield, and still on PlayStation, still play with people on on Xbox or whatever, that would be great. But I just want EA to drop some damn info. <laughs> uh, but it's, it lost it is EA. I'm excited <laughs> to see the gameplay trailer. I hold am on. too. Hold on, you haven't seen the gameplay trailer? Is it not out? The gameplay trailer came out on E3. Not sure. Sure. Yeah, it was yeah. at the Xbox conference. Oh, I got you right now. Yeah, Tanaka actually sent me a video of it because I, I wasn't able to watch E3, but he sent me a video afterwards. Yeah, hold on one oh, second. Right I probably did watch this. I probably, yeah, I probably wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Good job, Johnny. Good job. Congratulations. You're a genius, moron. 64 players per team. Oh, yeah, I did see this because I saw the time and I was like, oh, that's cool as shit. Yep. It does. Uh, like, the fact that. Look, oh, fucking storms. Yeah, because I know. Storms. I know EA's events next month, so I'm just waiting to see how long it's going to take before Jack Frags, Level Cap, and all of them get some exclusive hands on time with some dev only alpha or something. Cause I, I know that's gonna happen eventually. <clears throat> oh god! It, I'm just more like I'm more in awe of the fact what that you can be plugged. This is the uh, last one. Yeah, this is actually the last one. And um, no, I mean not which. What topic are we on? I totally forget. Uh, oh, the uh, the Battlefield yeah, 2042. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Battlefield awesome. 2042 and World War Two again. Yeah. yeah, Battlefield 2042, what is fuck is happening? World War Two, don't do it again. I promise you, yep. people are gonna be pissed. Yeah, <laughs> I'm okay. So that fucking trailer, I'm going to be like a mixture of hype and pissed if I'm playing this fucking game and a tornado just fucking picks me up and flings me across the map. <laughs> like imagine you're just going with your team. And half your team gets picked up by a fucking turn, like an EF5 tornado. And you're just like, well, guess I'll die. Because what the fuck are you going to do? You've been picked up by a fucking tornado. <laughs> or the fact that, like, you said it was just uh, pre- procedurally generated storms, right, Tanuk? Mm-hmm. That, that means just a chance of you being struck by lightning <laughs> in this fucking game. So just imagine, you, you, you're running behind somebody, and this motherfucker in front of you gets struck by lightning and just fucking dies. Because God decided to say, fuck you. (laughs) 
Yeah, so see, I'm surprised we haven't heard anything. Um, yeah, but then again, they're probably saving that for EA Play. EA Play Two. There was rumors that um the new Dragon Age was going to be a live service, and then supposedly they were going to stop that after the mess up of Anthem. But I think another thing these companies got to realize too is like the live service games aren't bad. Y'all are just doing them wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Not the live service game. I'm talking about what the motherfuckers doing. You got examples in front of you. Use yeah. examples. Destiny 1, when it came out, was shit. That's an example. Mm -hmm. Destiny 2, when it came out, honestly, was also shit. <laughs> Another great example. And yet they managed to pull that shit back. Twice. They did yeah. twice. Yeah. Yeah, it's Taken King saved it and um saved the first one and Forsaken. Yeah, Forsaken. It's been three years, man. It's been three <laughs> years since King's death. I've gotten over because now we have Crow. It, Crow is a pretty chill guy. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Fucking Destiny. I gotta get back into that shit because uh, they're about to release the new season on, which is the uh, the Witch Queen. Fucking Savathun, my guys. The Witch Queen, huh? What's Witch that? Queen yeah, got Savath Savathun. Witch the, Queen uh, got Yeah, I know. It's, like, it's gonna be. It's still gonna be coming out soon, though. Okay. It's, it's the next season after the season, which the current season, season of Splicer, where we find out uh, about the the Kale's prophecy and shit. Um, the Kale are actually called it Ilixni. Uh, you learn a little bit more about Saint Fourteen. Saint fourteen did not give a fuck. <laughs> but he he would just tear through everybody at any given opportunity before he was Saint fourteen. Like, yeah. Saint fourteen was fucking scary. <laughs> like the the, the the fallen literally have a legend about him where he would he just showed up at like one of their fucking planets and just was just tearing through them. Non stop. Sheesh. Children, adults, he was just killing them all. And that was before he was saying 14. So now that they're actually like in the city, they see Saint 14 and they're just fucking shitting their pants. Like Saint 14 now, because he's Saint 14, he's good now. <laughs> but the fallen are just like they're just shitting their pants. Oh, also, um, the leader of Future War Call is a fucking racist. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking hates the fallen. She hates the fact that they're in the city, but there's nothing she can do because the vanguard's like, we will give you a home. You're wow. good, fallen. Like you're good. Maybe <laughs> not fallen. Because fallen is like the slang that the guardians gave. They're right. elixni. Also, there are hybrids. We also it's been confirmed that there are hybrids of human and elixni. Wow. <laughs> Me, it just they 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 literally went with it. Uh, they went with uh, humans will fuck anything if it moves. <laughs> oh man. Oh. That explains that one time Shiny gave me that amazing blowjob. Like, let's stop capping. I took you to <laughs> team, team, oh, double team me. Let's not oh, do this right now. Okay, so who was in front? Who was in back? Or are you both behind? If we took turns. Ah, I see. So. Oh, God. Um, so, so yeah, I meant to tell you, too, Um, because I know you like uh, pretty good single-player experiences. Dude, when you can, give Scarlet Nexus a try. It's actually really good. It's a really good anime game. This um this game shocked the hell out of me. I think it's um Shiny is Scarlet Nexus free on Game Pass or no? Nope. Nope. Okay. Fuck. Okay. okay. Shit. Oh, well. I don't know why I was Fine. thinking it was a Game Pass game. Probably because it was advertised so hard on Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> but now, whenever you can, dude, give that game a shot. Is it? It is amazing so far. Um hours and hours of gameplay it's it's very futuristic and, and sci-fi but it's it's a good game i promise you that but all right so with that all being said ladies and gentlemen we are going to be what the fuck what the hell is that podcast has been shut down why and who the hell are you we have warned you. We've taken over your Twitter. Back no. To back. 
Oh, you that oh the one the one the one dickhead who's changed my um, Twitter stuff around. I see. What do you want? What's your problem? It is time. Time for, for the what? PlayStation takeover. Oh, is it? So you're just gonna shut my podcast down, huh? Make In it all PlayStation. Five, four, three, two, Are you dead serious? One. Oh, this motherfucker. 